Brains and welcome to another mini brands mini toys unboxing different differently from the other mini brands that we open that are basically different kinds of foods this one specifically are toys and they can range anything from vintage toys like Rubik's cubes technically a Rubik's cube could also be a fidget toy like a mini, a mini one we even have Dora the Explorer, Spongebob, and Baby Shark. There are nine mini brands mystery boxes. So needless to say, I am really excited about mini toys. When I was a little grain, I was a huge fan of comfort toys, but more specifically, I would have to say my comfort toy was probably Play-Doh. My siblings and I played with Play-Doh for so many hours on end. We just had so much fun and I have great memories from it. Let me know in the comment section below, what is your comfort toy? Something that just brings back good memories. Okay, enough of the sweet. Usually I'm pretty salty with mini brands because they are weird, just weirdly skilled. I don't understand what they're trying to make. It's not for one. 12th scale and I don't think it's for 1 8th scale either and everything is just not compatible with each other so I am still pretty salty I'm curious though if the toys are going to also be off scale or if we're going to see any kind of correction in these mystery boxes and we can see on the side it says that there's a hundred plus to collect mini friends don't let me down please also, do you think we're going to be getting any kind of rare or golds this time? Because mini brands just don't want us to have any. I don't appreciate that. Not one bit. And for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do all sorts of weird, wacky things here. Click on all notifications. You become a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. Also, let's take a second to appreciate that there was an Avatar The Last Airbender in the previous mini brands toy unboxing. I still have it. It's really cute. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure in the previous mini brands we got some kind of Crayola. So, I'm really excited about these. And for those of you who don't know what mini brands are, they're basically miniature versions of known foods or known brands worldwide. They're just miniature versions of them. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it opens satisfactorily. Satisfactorily is not even a word. Satisfactorily. Let's feel it. Very nice. I applaud you. And I really wish the outside of the box gave us more of an indication of the hundreds that are in there, but satisfactory plop time. Oh, I love it. Similar to other mini brands, we get three small compartments and two of the larger ones. Let's start with one of the smaller ones because that's usually where they're hiding the pamphlet. I thought it was the bigger ones, but obviously I was wrong. And, oh, oh, what the heck? Speaking of the devil! <laughs> okay, so we have Crayola watercolor. This is exactly the same like we got in the previous series. I'm hoping they added, did they just, what? This better not be the same one. But okay, Crayola, I see you, I see you. <laughs> All right, let's, let's keep going and you are, ooh. Yeah, you see, I thought this was new. We have Potions Slime, which, I wouldn't have known what it was, except, hang on here. However, I actually picked one up from Toys R Us a few weeks ago, and I'm like, I'm gonna try this, but look, we got a little baby version. So if you wanna see what this is, which is a potion slime, and it cost me $30, this better be the dosh gone darn best experience ever. But alas, it shall wait. If you wanna see it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. But what I don't like also is that the label is kinda blurry, right? Yeah, that's just bad printing could see super blurry all the way down and next ooh, what are you yes I can't all right I'm starting to see a pattern here it feels like they added some new stuff with the older stuff here we are we get the fingerlings which I guess are just toys that you can attach to your fingers I love the box details and this is what I like about the toy version of mini brands is that every box is different and we have the backside look at that we even have oh my gosh if we get doubles we'll definitely take them up whereas in the food versions everything is almost a box or just a container that is a box these ones are very different so far all right next we have bigger one oh Ooh, a nerve gun. We have an X shots. 
that is pretty nicely detailed. That is a cool toy. And you know what? It's big enough to work for 1 12th scale. This is great! I thought I would be very salty, but these toys are absolutely phenomenal, and the details in the back are super great. Look at that. I'm, I'm really happy so far. Okay, here's the label, which apparently they keep changing where it goes. Where are you? Wait, where did you... Oh, there it is. Okay, we'll look at this after to see what we can get, and then... Oh no, is that a shopping cart? I hate these things. Oh, oh, it's a shelf. Okay, I've built these shelves before. Here's what it looks like. I do not want to put them. I just don't want to do them again. They're so annoying. And so here is our folded guide. It is quite scrunchy. Are there two of them in there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is quite the list. And just at first glance, it seems like they've added more stuff to the original set that we got. So here we can see that the ultra rare are basically a kind of rose gold. The super rares are golden color. Yeah, we got this one last time, I think. I'm pretty sure. And the super rares again in gold. I do see quite a few familiar things, but some new things. So we also have the potions. How do we tell if it's glow in the dark? You know what? At the end of the video, I'm going to put everything under a UV light so we can see if any of them are actually glow in the dark. And then we get metallic and we did get a Ninja Turtle last time. And I think the Jojo bow, I'm not sure. You know what? If you want to watch the previous unboxing of these mini toys, I will link it down below so you can see exactly what we got. And then here are the common ones and I'm pretty sure last time we didn't have this kind of Crayola but the other ones are absolutely familiar and so as you can see we are getting a little bit of everything they're giving a variety of let's say the monster trucks some rug rats and holy shrimp Ren and Stimpy is so ugly just so ugly please stop and then fingerlings and lots of different kinds of spongebob we even see patrick in there but otherwise everything is kind of clustered i see news and old so this is interesting they say hundreds but it's basically the same set but with new stuff so is it really new i guess it is but i'm pretty excited to check them out which means next And the odds, as we've seen in previous unboxing, is... Ugh, I hate these things so much. <laughs> the odds of getting rares are extremely low, so don't bet on them. And even if you get the one that's super golden edition, like I did in a previous video, they kind of remove the value of the golden one by adding a rose gold super edition. Just watch the previous video, I get really salty. And then, ooh, what you be? I've actually never watched Dora the Explorer. I've only seen snippets here and there, so I don't know the characters. What is the name of this character? The packaging is cute. Absolutely. Oh, that's the backpack. But yeah, this is really neat. And this has a very strong eraser kind of feel. It's a little rubbery, so I like the texture on that. You, oh, more rainbow corns. Have I opened one of these? I don't think I've ever opened any of these before on the channel, but the packaging, again, very unique, very nice. Oh no, <laughs> that's so ugly. Oh, I hate this. Oh, gross. That is gross. I don't even know why this was a thing. So back in the day, there was a cartoon called Ren and Stimpy. I couldn't stand it. And it was obnoxious in so many ways, but it was so popular. And this is one of the main characters. I'm pretty sure my siblings are gonna love this. I'm kind of glad I got it. Holy moly, ew, ew, ew. It basically looks like a uh, forgotten chihuahua. Ugh, the most laziest toy they could have put in there. Let's make a circle and slap a label on it and call it a toy. I'm pretty sure I was angry at this also in the previous video. I don't need you and you can't even stay on my nose properly. Let's see how long it stays there. All right, so we haven't seen any of these super ones, super rares just yet. Ooh, is that a little robot? That is neat. The RC Mini MIP. And I wonder if the remote is somewhere on the inside. So this is a cute little robot. And even the design of the box, it has a little indent. And the toy is on the inside. This is what I'm act like so excited. I'm the get. Ah! And we get a preview. Ah, I just I want to open it so badly. Let's just open it. I really want to open. Oh gosh, it is even taped. All right, and oh my god, 
Here's our little robot character. They all have this kind of rubbery feel to them. Come out, little buddy. And it is super cute. It is a flat back, but I mean, most people probably won't take them out. I just did because I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> that is adorable. Oh my god. I know I said I would open only if we had doubles, but I couldn't help myself. All right, back in the box you go. Look at that. Mini brand, seriously, just focus on this. The whole foods thing is its not your thing. There you go. Cool. Very nice and secure. What? Ugh. Why do I have some kind of bad memories from these? I just don't want to put these together. Is this a cart? I think that is a cart. If you want to see what a cart looks like, here it is on screen. <laughs> I just find them such a waste of space. What are you? A super ball. How high can you bounce? Okay. All right. I guess it's basically just the bouncy ball. Like the ones, oh, like the ones you would get from the machines at like a dollar or something. Okay. I still like the packaging. Still very custom. Very neat. Another Rugrats Nickelodeon is added again. This time we have Chucky. Is Rugrats still a thing? And yes, look, we do have the figure and it is a 3D non-flatback. I'm gonna keep this. These are amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Everything from the toy detail to the companion, except we don't get the companion in here, which is totally fine. I mean, just getting the actual toy. You know what? Now I can see why these were more expensive. Just so you know, I paid $22 for each one. And I got nine, so... Uh, so I spent about $228. That's including the tax, because we have quite a bit of tax here in Quebec, so... it's a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, at least it's good that I'm happy about it. Oh, another Rugrats. This time we have a Tommy? Tommy? Tommy, there you go. And these are supposed to be posable figures, so we get quite a bit of Nickelodeon. And I'm not sad about this. I'm pretty sure we did get one of these in the previous unboxing too. Bad enough. I'm telling you, Grains, these packages are not easy to open. I have to keep my knife next to me. Uh, ooh, Ninja Turtle! We get a cute... How many times have I said cute? Probably too many. We get an adorable little Leonardo. And the paint job on it is a little incomplete, so that one needs some work. But we do have the character bio, and I really do love the Nickelodeon version of the Ninja Turtles. They're actually pretty well done. Oh, that one's already torn. What's going on here? What are you? Oh, and the box is bent. I think this was meant to go into a bigger compartment because we have Shimmer from Shimmer and Shine. I guess they're supposed to be genies or gins to a certain extent, but I'm not familiar with this character, nor have I seen this show. If any of you have seen this show, let me know down below, or if it's even a show. Is it Nickelodeon? Yeah, it is Nickelodeon, so it's gotta be a show. And we have two different kinds of genies. I'm very meh about this one. Oh, another Rugrat. No, that is not Rugrats. That is Football Head. So we have Hey Arnold, also from Nickelodeon. What is wrong with his face? Oh, the paint job is absolutely atrocious. What's going on? We started off pretty strong and now we're just getting lazy and bad paint jobs. I can't tell if that's his arm or a some kind of growth from an alien species coming out of his chest. I can't tell. This is so poorly done. The box is still pretty cool. Oh, it's supposed to be his arm. They didn't even paint his hand. Kind of. It's a little gray. Yeah, this does not look like that. Yeah, very poorly done. Yeah, nope, 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 nope. All right, big compartments. No, I don't want you. I hate these. Oh, another, another little robot. Oh, we already got one of these in the previous video. I think a lot of these seem pretty familiar, but maybe I'm just making up memories at this point. <laughs> but I love this cute little robo dog. Super, super cute. And again, they show the remote control, but we don't get a remote control in here. Don't ask me where the previous collection is. I think I've only kept a couple of them and then the rest I gave to my siblings. But yeah, I love the box, love everything about this. And so will ball number five give us anything special? Oh, that, that's gonna be a card, isn't it? No! Oh! A flamingo! Hello, little Frankie and the funky flamingo. <laughs> so this is from the Pets Alive series. The paint job is definitely way better than Hey Arnold. 
love the fact that the background of this actual toy is different than just a white packaging. Very nice. We get the details for the toy. Holy shrimp, that is a huge toy. Is that the correct scale of the real toy? Is it as big as a person? Is it supposed to be a puppet? I think it's a puppet. Now I'm curious. Oh, okay. So from TTPM Toy Reviews, we can see that they do dance. And it's not as big as they show in the back of the box, unless the person's really tiny, but okay. They do the dancing. Ooh, yes, I love these. As much as I hate the actual cart and everything else, these little baggies are way better. Look at me. I'm more entertained by bags than shopping carts because at least the bags are to scale. Bags don't really come in one size because, you know, they're bags. So you can stuff more toys in there. I like these. I'm keeping them. And damn, what's this? What are you? Oh, it's not. I, I was like, it's a barbie. Eh? It's not a barbie. Eh? We have Sparkle Girls with Z. You know they're serious when Z or Z, as you Americans like to call it. And she's kind of stuffed in there like an ice cream. Does she have legs? No, she does not have legs. Put you back in there. <laughs> Packaging is cute. It does look very much so like those crepes that they sell in some street foods in Japan. But we also have those crepes here. So yeah, I like that. Very nice packaging. And the sculpt and the paint on the doll itself is actually not that bad. It's pretty good. Oh, there we go. That's our first truck. So we have our Crusher Blaze type truck from Nickelodeon. And this one here is basically from what we see on this sheet. There's at least five variations. So it's going to be the same sculpt, I'm guessing, just different colors of the trucks. I'm thinking, I could be wrong. And you are another truck or car, just ready to roll. And this one, Okay. See, this is what I hate about the food kind of mini brands is that they're usually boxes and the inside is empty. This is just going to have some kind of paper, I'm guessing. Yeah, there you go. Just paper on the inside to make it more filled up. So I'm glad we don't have too many of these because that is, ugh, it doesn't close anymore. I'm just glad we don't get boxes like this because these are trash. And in case you're wondering, we can definitely put, look at that. You could put your toys, you could go and get some more toys and put it in here. You can definitely Tetris it if you want, but at least you know you can put a good few. And it looks like a fun little prop if you're doing any kind of dollhouse decorating. I love it. I love it so much. And we have another Nickelodeon. What is that? What are you? Oh, ah, uh, the monsters. Oh, I like that. That is cute, but hang on. It's, yeah, ah, uh, real monsters. That's what the show was called. I never really got into it, but one of my brothers was really, really enjoying watching it. So we have this character called Ickus, I guess. I hope I'm saying it right. Don't get at me. This is what the drawing looks like. And here are the different characters you can get. Oh, these are kind of like Funko Pops, but why is this... Why is this open? Why is this not matching? That is very annoying packaging. Can I push you in? I'm gonna push it in a bit. There you go. No, not quite. Oh, the unicorn squad. So it's funny because they're putting their own product in there. I can appreciate it. We have a unicorn ball. I've never actually seen these. If any of you have opened this, let me know down below. I'm pretty sure I saw that they even had mini brands as a mini version of itself. Ooh, we have our first SpongeBob. Is it the same? No, that's a different one. Oh no, that is bent. There you go. So we get our first SpongeBob, very different from the one we got last time, but I'm really hoping that we can get Patrick this time. And the paint job is pretty good on this one. And even the print is pretty good. So it's easy to read and it's not blurry. So they get points for that. No, <laughs> I hate these. I hate these so much. <laughs> I've been donating them all. Just gonna say it right out there. I've been giving them all away. I don't even want to look at them. That's how much I hate these carts. Just give me more figurines. Ooh, a Ninja Turtle mask. That's cool. Would have been nicer if they had a couple of like little strings or an elastic hanging out just to complete it a bit more. But I like the fact that we have a Michelangelo mask. Very nice. So I'm just gonna have to glue an elastic in that. Ball number seven, be nice to us. And we are starting with our first actual double. You know what? I'm pretty impressed we didn't get so many doubles so far. But considering we got, you know, over a hundred different items to collect, I'm glad, because that would just be scammy. 
Oh no! Oh no! I spoke too soon! Ah, oh, of all things I could have gotten doubles from, we got the ugly stuff! <laughs> So we have another of the Ren and Stimpy characters. Holy shrimp, that is so ugly. So ugly. But yeah, still, I still like the box. At least now we have a double. Maybe I'll open it. I'll probably open it. Ooh. We have the Crayola washable glue. And we can't tell whether or not this is a special edition because it should, in theory, glow in the dark if it is a special edition. So I will put it aside. But the label is so tiny. Look at it in comparison. So we're gonna put it aside and test it out later. Please don't be a cart. Oh, Dora! Oh no, bat paint job. That is terrible paint work. They didn't take the time to actually paint the backpack, nor her mouth, and the eyes are a little wonky. Dora, they did you dirty. Did they mess up her short? Her sh I guess her shorts are fine. Fine-ish for now. But yeah, there's this is just bad, definitely bad paint job. You can tell who it is, but lazy painting. No! <laughs> I don't want you! No! 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 So ball number seven was a disappointment. Ball number eight. I'm glad you saw an example of how finicky these packaging can be. No! <laughs> Stop giving these to me! I don't want them! Oh no. We get another double and this one is the cute little robot with the awesome box. Another double. Holy moly! We're going in strong with these doubles. We have Tommy again from Nickelodeon. Ooh, new character. Kind of. We have a fingerling, which I think I got the exact same one in the previous unboxing. But at least it's new this time. And you can see it's an absolutely tiny little dragon. Very nice details on that one. I also really love the packaging and the details on the packaging. Let's see the back. And yes, I don't know why toys that are you could just shove on your finger, I don't know why they're popular is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, okay, sure. I guess it's when we were kids, we had these little floppy characters that you could put on your finger and they went like, like that. Just... <laughs> Mind you though, they were something like 25 cents or 50 cents or something. I don't know how much fingerlings are. $20! Whoa! Okay, they range anywhere between $12 to $20. I guess there's a kind of rarity to them. Holy shrimp. Another Ninja Turtle, except this is the exact same turtle. We have another Leonardo with the incomplete paint job. And here we are at ball number nine. So let's milk this opening to make sure that we give it sufficient time to change its mind and possibly give us a rare or an ultra rare. I didn't spend close to $230 for not getting a rare. So let's put our hands together and pray to the mini brand's gods. Dear mini brand gods of Evermore, please stop giving me doubles, triples, and carts. But also, stop making me mad. All right, where were we? Well, there we go. The plop. Very nice. I have a feeling this is another cut. I can feel it. Oh my god, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Let's keep going. Come on. You got this. Oh, okay. Um, I should have asked for no boxed items because these are the cheapest to make. But it is new. At least we have Nickelodeon slime. And it is a boxed item. So basically it's just a print. And the box is a little weird. It's not closing properly. But here it is. It's a slime station. I don't think I've ever tried this product before. Let me know if you have. 
Oh, that looks, that is Crayola. Very cute. We have Crayola washable markers. Is that torn? Are you torn? No, okay. We good, we good. By the way, if you're curious in seeing a product review of Crayola's newest airbrush, I'll link it down below. This is what the thumbnail looks like. And this one's called the Color Max. I've never heard of this before. How does it make it Color Max? Is it more saturated? Okay, so far so good. Oh, another fingerling. This time we have a mini unicorn. And much like the dragon, the print on the front is pretty good. Love the details with the little rainbow and in the back, looking good. Oh my God. This is the last one before we check if any of the other ones were glow in the dark. And what are you? A frisbee. This could still be glow in the dark though. So I guess that's where it's anticlimactic because we don't know if it's glow in the dark. So we do have a frisbee. It is also, it's not a print. It's an actual tiny frisbee, like so. And it's called Frisbee Ultimate. I love the design right on top. And in the back, I guess that's just basically product information. Nothing really to look at. So since I'm in Canada, we don't quite have sunlight in the winter. So here it is, a UV light, which should activate the glow in the dark. All right, so now it's time to close. It's been under there for approximately two, three minutes. And time to turn it off. And none of them is glow in the dark. Oh my God, what the heck? Whatever light you're seeing is the reflection of the light from the camera, but yep, all this money and not a single special one. So just, just kind of saying it goes. In the trash. And so here's everything that we got in the mini brands for about $230. Everything from mini figurines, which I really love the fact that you can take them out. It really does remind me of the Shopkins Real Little. To just a random figurine like Dora. I guess it's supposed to be a plushie, I'm wondering. And then we have like absolutely lazy toys, like the ones that come in boxes or even the ring toy. So the variety that we get is still pretty decent and the amount of different molds that they make for this is really good. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite. If you want to watch more mini brands unboxings, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something a little crafty, Make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.